Hello guys and welcome back to Liftoff. Whether it's science fiction or science fact, with space as the backdrop, there is one thing that always catches the eye, the spacesuit. Indeed, we're all familiar with the sense of excitement and inspiration when we see astronauts decked out in advanced spacesuits. SpaceX, being who they are, has dropped a bomb in the form of a new spacesuit design. And it's nothing like what NASA has ever seen before. In fact, Elon Musk offers to help NASA make cheaper spacesuits. So what makes this advanced spacesuit so unique? Join us as we explore every detail of the spacesuit in today's video. The futuristic flight suits worn by Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken during last year's Crew Dragon are a far cry from the bulky orange shuttle flight suits worn by astronauts when they last launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center, as well as any other spacesuit worn by astronauts from other countries. But before we go any further, let's first set down what SpaceX suits really are. A spacesuit, sometimes known as EMU, an acronym for Extravehicular Mobility Unit, is a garment worn by astronauts to keep them alive in the harsh environment of outer space, which includes vacuum and temperature extremes. Spacesuits are frequently worn within spacecraft as a safety measure in the event of cabin pressure loss, and they are required for extravehicular activity, which is work performed outside of the spaceship. For such tasks, spacesuits have been worn in Earth orbit, on the Moon's surface, and on the way back to Earth from the Moon. Modern spacesuits add a complicated set of technology and environmental systems to the basic pressure garment to keep the user comfortable and reduce the effort necessary to bend the limbs while fighting the natural inclination of a soft pressure garment to stiffen against the vacuum. To provide total independence from the spaceship, a self-contained oxygen supply and environmental control system are typically used. IVA, intravehicular activity, EVA, extravehicular activity, and IEVA, intra-extravehicular activity, are three different types of spacesuits. IVA suits are lighter and more comfortable since they are designed to be worn within a pressurized spaceship. The Gemini G4C suit is an example of an IEVA suit that can be used both inside and outside the spacecraft. They offer enhanced protection from space's severe conditions, such as micrometeoroids and dramatic temperature changes. Outside ships, EVA suits like the EMU are used for planetary exploration or spacewalks. There are clearly various models and designs of spacesuits, but they were mostly different variations from the same old design. SpaceX's suit, however, changes things up significantly. Currently, the spacesuits used by astronauts at the International Space Station are rather ancient. SpaceX began constructing a spacesuit for astronauts to wear inside the Dragon 2 space vehicle in February 2015. Jose Fernandez, a Hollywood costume designer known for his work on superhero and science fiction films, and Elon Musk, the creator and CEO of SpaceX, collaborated on its look. The suit's initial photographs were released in September 2017. During the Falcon Heavy's first flight in February 2018, a mannequin named Starman, after David Bowie's song of the same name, wore the SpaceX suit. The suit was not pressurized and had no sensors when it was unveiled at the expo. Through a single tether at the astronaut's thigh that feeds air and electronic connections, the suit, which is vacuum compatible, protects against cabin depressurization. Microphones and speakers are included in the 3D printed helmets. The suits are not utilized for extravehicular activities since they require a tether connection and do not provide radiation protection. In order to familiarize themselves with the spacesuit, NASA commercial crew members Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley tested it aboard the Dragon 2 spacecraft in 2018. They wore it in the Crew Dragon Demo 2 flight launched on 30th of May 2020. The suit is worn by astronauts involved in commercial crew programs, missions involving SpaceX. The gloves are touchscreen sensitive and the helmets are 3D printed. However, their initial function remains the same, to protect crew members against depressurization, which occurs when the capsule loses air. The suits also guarantee that astronauts have enough oxygen and maintain a comfortable temperature. A single umbilical wire in the seat hooks into the suit and provides a communications link and breathable air. The spacesuits already beat any of NASA's own designs. But, be that as it may, we do need to look at the competition SpaceX does have. 
We don't need to look any further than Boeing, the same venerable company that has been fighting SpaceX for the right to launch NASA's missions. It has designed a pressure suit to protect passengers through the critical periods of launch and re-entry for the contract with NASA to transport humans to the space station in its CST-100 Starliner spacecraft. The Boeing blue suits are around 40% lighter and more flexible than previous generations of spacesuits worn by American astronauts. To keep astronauts cool, they have many inside layers. Touchscreen sensitive gloves are also included in the outfit, allowing astronauts to use tablets in space. The soft hood-like helmet has a broad polycarbonate visor to improve peripheral vision for Starliner passengers on their journey to and from space. Astronauts will be able to change from sitting to standing more easily thanks to zips in the torso area. NASA released a close-up look at the next two generation suits for the agency's Artemis program in October 2019. The Orion Crew Survival System is one of the suits, and it's similar to the suits used by SpaceX and Boeing. It's similar to the pumpkin skin suits worn by Space Shuttle astronauts, although it's far lighter. The Exploration Extravehicular Mobility Unit suit is also known as the XEMU. On the other hand, is meant to be worn on the moon's surface. It's a lot bigger than the pressure suits that astronauts wear inside the spaceships. This is due to the fact that it must protect the user from temperature fluctuations outside the spacecraft's walls. It's also intended to give some protection from micrometeorites and other tiny space debris. It's compatible in these ways to the suits that were previously used for spacewalking at the International Space Station. At the International Space Station, two suits are utilized for spacewalking. The Russian Orlan type, which was introduced in December 1977, is one of them. The Orlan spacesuit is a one-piece design. The spacewalker may crawl into the backpack by opening it like a refrigerator door. The other suit used in the space station is NASA's Extravehicular Mobility Unit, which was introduced in 1981. Unlike the Orlin, the EMU is made up of two halves, a bottom half and a top half. Outside in the vacuum of space, the semi-rigid suit offers roughly 8.5 hours of life support for its occupant. The EMU was also the name of the suit worn by Apollo astronauts on the moon. However, it differed from the present version. It was a culmination of years of work since the first spacewalk by the late cosmonaut Alexei Leonov in March 1965. Spacesuits have come a long way and it's this line of research and innovation to which SpaceX's star man suit is an heir. Only then we can say whether or not they truly managed to make a difference yet again. Our comment section is open. Tell us what you think about SpaceX's effort in the making of the most advanced spacesuit known by humans. Subscribe, like, and share with your friends and family. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.